All right. Yeah. So this is Dre, a Tattoo Squid podcast here with Steve with Break On Through, which is like the, the song. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, it is. Is it, is it on the other side? Who knows, people? Who knows? You know. <laughs> the other side means Florida. Yes. You know. Yeah, the hot side. <laughs> <laughs> Florida could be that other side. You know. Yeah. You know, it's hot. It could be in that local area. <laughs> yeah. You know, just because you're from New York, I wore all my Patriots gear for this. I'm not even a football fan. I'm a football <laughs> fan. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. You know, it's cool because there's other people that listen that are Patriots, whatever, you know. But, you know, it's like me. I like I like football, but I'm not like a dead, dead hard fucking, you know. What are you, a Jets fan? No, not even. I'm not even a Jets or Giants fan for a New York fan. Wow. You know, I'm like, I like Raiders and right. and the Saints. Oh, see, I can't even hate on either one of those. Neither one of the, I actually like the Saints. The Saints are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really follow it like everybody else would follow it, but I'm like, I like it because of the, it's dark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, because I'm like a dark person. I like Vikings because of the whole, well, not Vikings. I mean, the Raiders because of the whole thing with the, you know, the Raider kind of look. That's cool. Yeah. You know, I like it. I dig it. But then, uh, you know, because my school mascot was uh, the Marauder, which was a Viking. So, okay. but it, it's not the same difference, but it, that's, you know, it almost comes to like, you know, because I'm not a Viking fan. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even know what, because I hate to like wear something like if I go to like a work area. Yeah. And then you go there and, and they're like, oh, where's your favorite football team? And I'm like, man, if I did that, I'm going to get fucking hate mail and everything. Else. <laughs> well, you know, for the past 20 years when the Patriots were killing it, I would actually avoid wearing my Patriots gear out of the house because every because <laughs> everybody hated Tom Brady so much at that time that you, no matter where I went, I would just get shit from everybody. He, he gave the new meaning to inflation. Uh, yeah. uh, he's not on my team anymore. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> hey, he's so, where's, where's he on now? Tampa Bay. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. He's in your neck and that neighborhood. Oh yeah. no, that ain't no, 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 no. I'm just visiting, bro. No, I'm not. I, this isn't my spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just visiting. I'm just like you know, seeing all the people and yeah, you know, break break on through to the other side somewhere. Yeah. Well, you know, I only really picked that name because my show was inspired by my father. Yeah. Um, because growing up, my father was a local level musician who. Uh, was just so well known and popular that it was it was insane to me that he never made it. And he was a big Doors fan. Yeah. Uh, so that's where I came up with the name for the show. But he if he would have had the presence of the, like the, the, the social media and all the stuff we have nowadays, I feel like it really would have turned things around for him because my father is to this day the most incredible guitar player I've ever met. Um. So I, I always felt bad watching him because because like I would watch him and he like he would disappear. He would go down to like Tennessee, he would go to Nashville trying to sell songs. Yeah. And as good as he was, he just couldn't ever seem to make that that breakthrough. You know, he just couldn't seem to bridge that gap. And uh, I don't know. I, it always made me feel bad growing up that he just never made it because he was good enough. He was always he was definitely good enough. Oh, so yeah. I was I was hoping to start the show and bring guys like that on and hopefully maybe one day my show would be big enough that somebody would hear it so that way they could get a big shot yeah well man they could they could probably listen from this because i heard there's a lot of people like that's not even in podcasting that over i'm not saying celebrities but you know musicians i heard some you know i don't really know because they're like one of local musicians but they it was like you know it's like oh i heard your thing you know this and that and so if they hear this, you know, you might get somebody coming on to yours, you know? Good, man. Good, so, good. I, I I hope all these guys that come on actually get a shot at it because a lot of these guys there, you know, it's, I'm not just saying it because they're on my show. These guys are amazing. Yeah. These these people I have on, some of these guys are just incredible. Yeah, we call it. No, it's awesome. We call it the way that you get, like, musicians and everybody else. I'm trying to get, like, because I love music as well, and I'm still trying to get – uh like dead, you know, dead from Devil Driver. Mm. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Devil Driver, and no, I know I you're into music and all that. But oh yeah, yeah. It depends on a certain kind of music, I guess. Yeah. No, I mean I'm into a little bit of everything, but I I don't ever claim to know uh, don't know it all. No, uh, no, no. I, I'm always taking music suggestions, though. I mean, if you got some shit that you think I'll I'll like, I will definitely listen to. Oh, it. you'll you'll like Devil Driver. It's it, it has a it lyric wise, you won't won't really. 
I'm going to say understand it a little bit. There is some songs you will, okay. but you know, it's a, it has that fast beat. It has the fast guitar riffs. It, it sounds has, very, it sounds very thrash metal. It's, it's somewhere there, but they don't classify themselves as thrash metal. Well, yeah, okay. You know, but they, you'll, you'll hear it when you know it. You know, you'll okay. be like, okay, it has a little bit of, because they're from California. So I'm going to make they, a memo. I'm going to make a memo. I'm going to check them out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but there is a uh, you can see like a behind the scenes thing. Like they do a thing where they're on tour, okay. and they do uh, uh, it's called uh, "You Know Us from the Stage," and uh, it's called Devil Driver. So Devil Driver, yeah, I'm which their uh, their their name as they got it from what I found out, and they tell you on the on the thing as well that it's been derived from. Uh, driving home. the devil no no it's actually uh <laughs> bells bells like warning off like witches oh no shit that's pretty cool yeah so it's like warning off witches and uh, i'm trying to remember grimaldi uh some it's like a, a witch book kind of thing that they got like a uh, grimaldi or something like that i actually i know i know what you're talking about yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's like they got it from that actually his wife found it and okay. in the beginning they were going to go with devil uh you know Something ride. I forgot what it was. Death. No, death ride. Death ride. Yeah, they were gonna go with death, death ride. ride. Yeah, that would be sick. But That's then, cool. they, then they I found like out that. there's a whole bunch of different things coordinated with death ride, so they can't go and and do all the like say the the legal mumbo jumbo. What the know, fuck? That, how, how much legal mumbo jumbo can be behind death ride? Well, no, Is no. It... I mean, there's like certain like a phrase, and and there's like a book, and you know, there's like something something death ride, and there's something death ride on this one. And oh shit, like, I never thought ride. I never thought there'd be that much behind it. Yeah, so awesome. that's why they're like, because certain people told them they're like, oh, you know, you know, <laughs> this and this, and like, all right, we'll do this, and then that's when they found out about Devil Driver. I mean, look, I get that because when I started my podcast, I mean, I used the fucking name of a very popular song and I was like, oh, shit, what am I doing? Yeah, but you didn't use the whole thing. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But there used to actually be a podcast called Break On Through. I had to check, but he stopped recording what, four years ago, four or five years ago now. If he, he didn't, never... if he didn't do it on um, uh, what's that phrase? I, I, I did this uh, like we, if he didn't trademark it. No, he then, didn't. Then you're well, good. Not only that, but I've actually reached out to this guy and he's ghost. Like he's gone. I have no oh, idea okay. where he is. So I've tried to hit him up. And it, when you Google it now, I'm I'm the first thing that comes up as yeah. far as break on through podcasts. So yeah, m- mine, mine, I got, I just, I made up on the spot because I have a, well, I got an octopus on my arm for a tattoo eyes, which is right there. Sick. That orange one. I like it. And uh, but you know, I like squids better because squids are a little bit more aggressive. Mm-hmm. And so tattoo, I just made it like T A two, but it's actually tattoo because I have a whole bunch of tattoos. I always figured that. I figured yeah, you were gonna be pretty tattooed. Too, but yeah. I'm like, I'm not saying I'm a tattoo artist. That's what they figure. I'm like, no, I I love getting tattoos. That's it. Oh yeah. No, I never thought you were an artist, or well, I mean, I never didn't think you were an artist, but I just figured it was because you were tatted up. Yeah, that, that that was the whole thing. But it also, I got it on my license plate, so I had to go and do something. Oh you know? shit! So I got. I always want to have, uh, you know, like like a name plate kind of thing for mm. my car. And I've always wanted. To, ever since I went to a tattoo shop, and I was like, it's like you know what? When I get a new car, I want to go and get something. I don't know what, but I'll figure something out. I want something fucking ludicrous. I just want something so stupid <laughs> that you would have to know it's me. Like, I don't know how could I like. T N E dick with tiny <laughs> dick. <laughs> it's something ridiculous would be awesome. <laughs> hey, we're chasing another license plate. Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and then you got the old person going, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, everybody would know who the fuck tiny dick was though. Okay. Oh, was that guy There's wearing a the Patriot fucking jersey. Oh, <laughs> you know, no wonder why. No. <laughs> 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 that'd be awesome though just to have the most fucking ridiculous license plate in town would be so amazing oh i know i was like i was trying to think of something and i'm like what should i get i mean i like heavy i love i like uh heavy metal music i like you know cartoons and all that but i'm like nah, i can't be able to do that and then you have to figure out like the lettering how long you could be able to do it you can't just yeah. do like a whole name i just put a two in there and then that was it 
I don't yeah. know. A friend of mine helped me out with it. She was like, oh, do it like this. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, really, you think I'd want to have something like musically inspired, but I don't. I want to have just something ridiculous, just crazy. Shred. Um, Shred these nuts. I know. <laughs> the, the this is all I'm going to be saying. All right. I just want something that has to do with genitals that I try to pass by as something. No, not even I, got, that I, I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> all right. I let's hear it. Here we go. You go. Letter D. Okay. Shredder. Dick Shredder. No, it's no, not, like, no, no, like D, D shredder, the shredder, you know. Okay, all right, all right. You know, but you could like shorten shredder a little bit. You can go like. Not really a shredder, though. I'm more of like, a, I like, I like like the late 60s type music. Okay. That's so, what I grew, it's what I grew up around, you know. Uh, I mean, what am I, I drop acid? Jeez, uh, like, what am I supposed to put? I drop acid or something? Like, what? I don't. I'm just saying, you know. Oh, I don't acid I don't, rain. I don't acid rain. Hey, that would be fucking cool. I would yeah. take that. Yeah, there you go. Even even though there is a, uh, I'm not saying there's a band, but there's a song called Acid Rain. So, but that's like more, you know. I mean, you gotta look at it and see if they can, you know, or you could you gotta word it differently, probably. I also live in Florida, and they're pretty strict about stupid shit. Oh, even a license plate. Oh yeah, man. Oh, yeah, that's that's yeah. like you know, that. you know, like the classic ass man. I don't even think they'd let you have that here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Florida, oh, ass man. Oh, yeah, with uh, fucking Howard Stern. Like, Florida is the weirdest state because we are full of the craziest sons of bitches, but the law is super strict about everything. Yeah, so is New York. New York has like some uh, laws that strict too. I mean, license plate, I don't know, but they have a thing about underglow underneath the fucking uh, yeah we got that shit too it's so dumb yeah yeah but they got that shit we call that you go down what's that uh uh what's that area that everybody goes and hangs out uh well like miami i think yeah where they have the underglow fucking like you know speedster fucking cars and shit yeah i mean that's everywhere everywhere has a group of them but i mean florida in general like i remember being in my 20s and everybody you know fast and the fucking furious came out dude and everybody oh, was like there. i have to get a car like that <laughs> but they wouldn't allow you to have underglow lights because they thought it looked too much like an emergency vehicle but what yeah. cop pulls you over with fucking lights underneath their car yeah it's they, dumb i know it's like you know vin diesel is like i don't have friends but i got yeah. family family <laughs> hey look you've been in a lot of spaces with me you know i'm gonna dog on florida if we talk about it i don't like oh florida. yeah i know yeah Oh, and people, people, if you listening, we call it Spaces is a thing on Twitter. If you're ever on Twitter, just get, if you see Piggly Dog, you see Break On Through, you see Chats Match, Chats match. Chats, you see, uh, we call it Tattoo Squid. Just jump in there. Listen, it's going to be a, it's going to be a wild ride when you get it's it. It's going to, it's going to be a bunch of ridiculous shit that you will not yeah, forget. <laughs> we're, we're either going to talk about, you know, whatever comes on. We could talk about music and, you know, hate on different music or like this kind of music yeah. or, you know you know rick's piggly dog we call what kind of menu they're gonna fucking have uh yep. you know chat smash you know whereabouts they're gonna be drinking in the next bar and everything <laughs> else you know and then and then what what uh what inflatable doll that they're gonna have uh, somewhere, you know, like, that, that's a classic conversation oh the, i know the, who's gonna who's gonna bang the inflatable doll wait i got i got right down to honorable mention so we got chat smash and then we got piggly dog piggly dog yeah and Pixie, then, you gotta mention Pixie. Pixie's oh no, I'm, I was gonna cool. say Pixie. I mean, yeah, Pixie from, uh, you know, it's like next uh, on stage one. Yeah, ne- on stage one, and then also she has like two more different ones. I think she got project. She's got project podcast. Yeah, That's Pixie the only other one project. I know of. Pixie Project Pixie, I think it is. Yeah, it's project. Uh, it's project podcast. Yeah, and then uh, and then we have put out Pixie, and then uh, but folks, you follow these guys as well. Oh, two guys and a girl. <laughs> yeah, these you know, people. Yeah, you know, they're those people, and then you know you're gonna find out about Pixie and the way that she did when she was doing stripping, cocktail waitressing, whatever. Mm. You know, yeah, she got but, some crazy stories. Oh yeah, oh yeah, her and and uh, uh, Mr. J. You know, yeah, Mr. J. Yeah, Mr. yeah, J. they're love they're that fun. guy. We call it. He, he's like, interacted me with a couple things. I got, I got, I got to bring him on here and talk to him too. Oh yeah, he'd be, yeah. he'd probably be fun to talk. To. Get, get, uh, get both of them actually. Yeah, yeah, 
Oh, dude, maybe you can get them at the same time, dude. That'd be pretty interesting. Well, more than likely, yeah, because they always, uh, they're always like oh, out and about and whatnot, you know. Yeah. So that would be good and all. <laughs> but still, <laughs> I want to get like all, all four of us, you know, to me, you, Vinny, and oh god, and that Rick. would be a that would have to be a long show. And you and definitely early for 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 Vinny. Well, for I don't Vinny. know. V- Vinny's pretty cool about like it being late, but I don't know. We'd all have to really like sit down beforehand and talk about it because some of the shit we say is probably just not friendly uh, for uh, no, this, this podcast is never fucking friendly. Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Because you've, I mean, whatever, you've you know? you've heard us, man. Like we yeah. get stupid. Yeah, but over people that do podcasts, do, you know, it's really you know it goes <laughs> wacky too. So it's not like we're doing anything different. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I agree. It's just yeah. we just sometimes we just get off the rails so fast and so hardcore. That's, that's what's good. That ratings, it, it, yeah, good it, ju- it just becomes like a bunch of dudes in a locker room picking on each other. It's it, eventually. It, it's soon, you know, we might get our own podcast together. You know, <laughs> it's like two, four dudes in a locker room. <laughs> I wanted. I I was trying to get. Um, I was trying to talk Rick into talking Vinny into recording those little Friday bar sessions because they're just so funny. Yeah. But, it's you know everybody's already got a podcast or two so it, it's it's like with uh, me we call whenever they have the the bar and and folks when you're listening this again we call the, the spaces there's one that's on fridays around like 5 p.m eastern ish mm. maybe yeah it's usually around five yeah, yeah five maybe, maybe it's not eastern but it's a uh, you know no it's, e- it's eastern it's eastern oh, it is? but oh, i okay. yeah but as far as i know i don't think the the bar is coming back until after the new year yeah, because they're taking an eye just because of family and everything else. We all are, you know. Because I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything for like Christmas wise as it is, and um, you know, New Year's I got like somebody for like New Year's Day already. So, well, you do a lot of shows, man. You're a busy I, guy. I, I keep busy. Yeah, you know, I'm like I yeah. do this, and then it's just crazy, like work wise and doing this. And I did one yesterday uh with uh one person canceled no one came in i'm like all right cool and then i did one this morning or this afternoon and then now with you and then i think i got like you know three more next weekend i'm doing another podcast this evening I'm, but we're doing the other podcast the paranormal oh, yeah. one and then i've got an interview with this punk band from out in the midwest tomorrow i'm so excited oh, for her. Nice. man these guys are great if you haven't heard of these guys their name is cheap easies Cheap they easies. i had, don't have any idea how these guys haven't like, was it like easy a, or just easy? no easies like uh cheap and then easies e-a-s-i-e-s like all one word as far as i can tell this oh, okay. this music is phenomenal it is some of the best punk music i've ever heard i have no idea how these guys haven't been signed or cut a record deal it, it, it astonishes me that they haven't yet because on these, twitter uh I don't think they're on Twitter, but you can find all their music on Spotify or YouTube. Oh, okay. um, you know, I was they're a band. Tag them like you know when we when I put this oh, out man. there, I was going to tag them and all um, that. I don't think they are. Let me look because that right. would actually be pretty cool. But dude, I'm telling you, they are so good. I didn't know how I was going to feel about them until I listened to them, and I've been listening to them now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only punk one I have heard is like you know, like was a guy. Uh, last name was Rotten. Johnny yeah. Rotten. Yeah, Johnny Rotten. That that was. That and Rancid, yeah, yeah. Well, Johnny Rotten was part of uh, the Sex Pistols. Yeah, I only heard like one or two things from them, but Rancid, I heard like one album, which I, I can't remember the name already. You know, it's been a long time since I heard it. I mean, I remember Rancid. I couldn't tell you the name of their album, but I know who they are. I know yeah. a lot of. I, I could tell you a lot of bands and a lot of songs, and I couldn't tell you albums for shit. Um, but there's like you know, like Pennywise was pretty big around the time Rancid yeah. was around. But it, oh, yeah, my, my, brother, my brother was in with that one. Like, you now, know, my favorite punk band of all time was is by far way above everybody. It's the Misfits. I love the oh, Misfits. Yeah. I fucking swear by the Misfits. I will die by the Misfits. I love that band. Yeah, uh, it was like one of the first real influential bands in my life as a kid. And now that I'm getting older, though, I'm kind of that's why I say I listen to more of like. I guess the shit my dad listens to, honestly, I'm yeah. more into like that late sixties acid rock and like seventies classic rock shit. It's just easy to listen to now. It's hard to be as angry as I used to be listening to fucking people scream about killing each other. I, I just, I don't know. I've just grown up away from that a bit, I guess. I still yeah. like it. I still like it. I still listen to it. I just don't listen to it 24 seven. Yeah. No, I mean like myself, I have like, I have a diverse 
thing of like, you know, music and all that. I mean, like, while you're saying, like, you see my, my Spotify thing, and usually people go, uh, you know, like, oh, okay, we got metal here, we got rock here. They go in different, you know, levels or whatever, like, like sections. Me, I just put them all in one fucking thing and yeah. listen to it. So I'll be, can, I'll be listening to like digital underground, like, for <laughs> one second. And then there's like after the burials after that. And then Richard Marks will come on after that. Right. And then, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I like that. I dig that. I think yeah. you have to have a variety. It, you're, we hit a certain age where it, it's you're just too old to be narrowed down to like you can be described as a type, yeah. you know, like branch out, man, learn some new shit, listen to some good stuff. It's all out there. I'm not a big country guy, but there's a nah, bunch of country. Nah. There's a lot of country that I will listen to that I do like until you get to the new stuff and I'm fucking out. Yeah. I don't like my, my parents are more into like the country and all that too so yeah. they, they they listen to whole, I, I was like i told <laughs> i was living in pennsylvania and i got you know my mom's like you know it's like hey how's it going i'm like yeah i'm going to work he's like i'm like what's up he's like oh no no we could we're, we're, we're going to go out to a, a concert i'm like really you go out to a concert and i think they were like in their like 60s 70s or whatever and i'm like mm-hmm. really i'm like what concert and i'm like it's like, oh, we're going to, uh, I forgot what it was, like Dwight Yoakam, I think it was. Okay, yeah. My and grandmother, I, my grandmother loves Dwight Yoakam. It, it was it was one of something. I mean, I'm not going to say we call it, you know, countries like, you know, the same. It's all different uh, stuff. But um, I'm like, I told my mom, like, listen, whatever you do, don't get in the way of people dancing, you know, and all <laughs> that. And, you know, just find a seat, sit, relax. She goes, Andre, it's not a mosh pit. You know, there's no <laughs> or something. I'm like, you never know with these country people. You know, they're gonna go and you know drink whiskey and then they'll, uh, they'll and... fucking they'll step on you with them shit kickers, man. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I used to have boots like that too. I mean, I love those shit. You know? Hell yeah, man. But yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, if she's older, man, she gotta be careful, dude. She gotta sit down and just listen. Yeah, my dad. My dad's like, you know, because they were oh, what the hell? They, they were like George Street uh, uh, people. I, I'm not even sure about the country Na- name. People name country singers and just put it on my my Twitter feed. Yeah, you know, there you go. There you go. Load him up with all of the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the point, I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? You know, I'm like, shit. And then you got Rick and you know and Vinny, you know, just going, what the hell did what's my mate doing over there? You know. Oh, and Vinny's coming on to the show January fifteenth. Oh no shit. Yeah, he's. Gonna oh be man, I'm gonna have to show. check that out. He's and a then, funny. Oh, he's funny. Oh shit! Yeah, him. Him and him, Finn and Big Foss. Big Foss, man. Big I, Foss, I, I, Mr. Dreamy you Voice. The video? You guys see the video of him, all three of them, and they're they're talking with Drunk Fury. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, that's good. And I'm like, I'm trying to figure out who's who. I know Vinny is like in the middle because he's always sitting in the middle. Vinny's in the middle. Big Foss is the bigger, the chunkier dude. And oh, Finn really? is. I yeah. thought that was, I would, I thought oh. it was Finn. No, Finn's the skinny guy. Oh, some bitch! I got it all fucking wrong. Shit. Yeah, you had it backwards. That's why oh. they call him. That's why they call him Big Foss because he's the biggest one. Well, yeah, but then I thought maybe you know because the skinny guy's like, oh, we're just gonna call him Big Foss because he's tall. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no um, I'm pretty sure they they refer they they start talking about Big Foss as Sasquatch. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I was listening to I was listening to the Christmas episode. Um, I I was listening to every one of them. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. I had my girlfriend listen to. We were looking for houses, and uh, you know, <laughs> she's like, "The hell we're listening to?" I'm like, "Chess Smash." Yeah, those goes, guys oh, are, are the ones you're talking about. Around. She goes, and all of a sudden, after she was listening to Vinny, and then Big Foss came on, and all of a sudden, Finn came on. She goes, "What kind of voice is that?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, they're funny. I love their show. Oh my god, especially we call the. Uh, the, they do the commercial for their uh, the grill. Oh yeah, the uh, oh the Galaxy Grill. Galaxy Grill, yeah, yeah. It's like we got a Galaxy Grill. Da, 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 da. You know, Big Foss. Big Foss makes all that music. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, man. Oh yeah. So supposedly, I haven't checked it out, but he has a SoundCloud where he uploads all like the music and I guess inspired music that he makes for the show. And some of it, from what I understand, it's very funny. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just I'm raining down. Oh, like, you're good, man. Shit, man. We call it so I can uh uh we call it do my uh my poster thing, you know, for a down, down. Look, on. I'm just happy that I don't have to take notes and I just get to be the guest and run my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's the other way around for me. 
<laughs> no, I know. It's like, you know, because I like to do the, I know also do like the, the posters. I, you know, because I still have to do one for, oh, shit, what the hell is it? Uh, what the Dice that I just did like a week ago. I don't usually go and do something ahead. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, usually I'll do like, say like this episode, it'll probably weeks down the line because I'm going in order of what I did before. Okay. So I don't want to mix match and I'll get lost in the fucking process. Yeah, look, I fucked up and did that on my show because yeah. now I'm now I'm like I have like four or five episodes waiting. And for some reason, the the episode I'm recording tomorrow is is going out tomorrow night. And I yeah. don't know how I I don't know how I got here. Like <laughs> I fucked it all up somehow. <laughs> no, but it was like so like now when I did uh, Anchor, what you you use a different platform, right? I use I use Spreaker. Yeah. And now there was no reason behind this. It was literally uh, I had been wanting to do a podcast and I saw a commercial and I was like, oh, OK, this is how we this is how to do it. Yeah. And I got on there and then I, I find. All right. I was never on Twitter before. I only I got I've only been on Twitter since the day that Facebook crashed because yeah. I was like, fuck Facebook. Finally, it's going to die. <laughs> and so I came over to Twitter and I was like, well, I'll check this out and see what happens. And I ended up liking it so much more. Um. I but I didn't know any other podcasters at the yeah. time. I, I hadn't even released my first episode yet. Well, the more people I met, I was like the only fucking person on speaker. I was like, what the fuck? And then yeah. I just I but I ended up just staying with it. Uh, I already was already all set up and shit. I, I do sometimes wish I would have went a different route like anchor because do you use anchor? Yeah. yeah, everybody fucking uses anchor. Like I'm the only not one not who doesn't. Everybody. Not well, everybody, most like, people, you get but most pod bean. People, yeah. Well, there's a lot of pod bean. Yeah. Uh, but nobody else uses Spreaker. I'm like the only person I've met so no, far. No, there's other people I've seen that has Spreaker. There's like maybe a, uh, a handful, but yeah. I, I haven't met any of them. <laughs> but, but once you, but, get, once you yeah. devolved out there, then you'll know. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like, I don't care at this point. It is what it is. I'm on there. I'm staying yeah. on there, I guess. Uh, but be exciting for me. You know, this whole time, I haven't been on Apple Podcasts. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, no, no, sure. I couldn't. I had a hard time getting on. But fucking a today was the day I'm fucking on there now. <laughs> I, oh, I, was, are showing up. <laughs> I was so excited because I had been trying so hard because everybody was like, that's where the most of my downloads come from. And I'm like, well, I'm averaging about 30 to 40 per show. So how many more will I get if I can get on Apple? Yeah. You know, like I'm excited now, I, like because like I said, the more people I can reach, the more people hear these people that I want to help. And that's sure. my my podcast. The my original podcast break on through isn't it's not about me. I don't care if I ever get anything for it. I want those people to get their shot. I want those people to get their message and be heard. It's yeah. not about me. I will forever do that show for free as long as I can ride that bitch out just to give people a platform. Now, my other show, I have another show coming out. It's going to be coming out just after Christmas. Wait, it's give, called, me the name. give me a name. So it's called you. For the Booze, like B-O-O-S, not drinking booze because I don't drink. Yeah, I know. For the Booze. It's a paranormal podcast that so I'm doing for with my the wife. Booze. B-O-O-S. Yep. B-O-O-S. Oh, okay. Oh, the a booze, like, 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 like a scary booze. Okay. Yeah, like a like a ghost, like a yeah. boo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah there's a good movie called Boo. So, you know. <laughs> but me and my wife, like, the you know, we're a typical married couple. We've been together a long time. We don't share that much in common. But the one thing we share in common is that we love to watch paranormal shit. It's, uh, been, it's been like this as long as we've been together. So naturally, we thought, well, hell let's let's make a paranormal podcast where we watch shit and make fun of it do you have you ever gone to like doing a paranormal thing we have if we have if you go on the for the booze twitter which i just started i actually posted a couple pictures of when we went and investigated the saint augustine lighthouse oh okay all right cool. yeah like this is something we we love and i mean we're not just gonna make fun of stuff like it's gonna be about uh we watch like documentaries youtube channels tv shows and we're gonna talk about it and some of them we like, but it's all going to be in fun. Like, we're going to crack some jokes at them. Um, but there are ones that we do believe because I do believe in the paranormal. And so does she. But I'm just a way more skeptical than she is as far as who is being honest about the shit that they're showing. There's there's some people I would tell you about. We call that you should. Get, right. uh, get if a, I don't already know, if I don't already know about them, I will check them out. because right, so I'm there's, looking. there's a life paranormal with the. I don't know that one. OK, life life. Is it on YouTube? No, 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 no. She she has a, a podcast. Oh, okay. All and right. You can and you can get her on too. 
she'll mm. she'll go on your show because if you're like a believer of certain things because she's a medium oh yeah uh, so, that that's where i'm skeptical yeah well hey you know you have that, to see what happens you know but my wife now look my wife believes in that and that's fine i'm not here to make fun of anybody no, I, no. just just because i don't believe in it doesn't i'm not saying it's not true i'm just saying i'm going to be a little more hard to convince Oh, she'll tell you. We call it if you're, you're, you know, because she read me like, you know, like a reading wise because I had her on, on a video. Mm -hmm. And and she was like, oh, this and that. And then when we got off the uh, thing, you know, she was like, oh, you know, you, you have a certain thing and this and that. And I'm like, okay, all right. So, I mean, I know I had like some kind of like special whatever, you know, but I'm not saying that I use like anything for good or bad, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I mean, like I have a different take. Like I can control my dreams. You oh know? man, I wish I wish I could. I don't even fucking dream anymore. No, I mean like when you like say you just like sleeping and then something weird happens and then I always go and try to be able to put something uh like either weird or something happy going into it. So it's not like oh I'm gonna wake up in a ball you know ball of sweat or something. You know, when I was when I was a little kid, I couldn't control my dreams. But when I would have a bad dream, I was able to inside my dream, tell myself, yo, you're having a dream. Yeah. And I'd be able to like ride it out and actually like have fun with it. But I could never really I, I was never really like I couldn't control it or anything. Yeah. But, but I, I don't know. That's because that's, that's, she liked that whole thing. And I had a mm -hmm. dream that we caught I'm laying in bed and zombies, you know, like from the movie wise, you know, with us walking around the bed. And then all of a sudden I woke up and I look and I'm like, what the fuck? And they're like that. And then they stopped and then they just looked down at me like this. And then I just looked at them and then they just got up and then faded into, into the blackness. You know, that's and, that's and weird. That was it. so then she's like, wow, you know, like that's crazy. And I had some other like shit happen to me when I was like, my wife passed away uh, years ago. Um, mm. And it was like some miscellaneous shit. You know, I'm driving like my new car driving down the street and not actually driving the highway and then you know like when you go and <laughs> you know when you're a kid and you're sitting in your back seat of your parents vehicle or they're driving or whatever and you rest your your knees up on the thing to get mm. comfortable well that's what i felt when i was driving and i Crazy. felt like somebody was kneeing me in the back like a kid you know just like being comfortable and like what the fuck and there's nobody mm. in the car with me like I said, I'm a believer, man. Yeah. I believe I believe in the paranormal. Um, man, I don't like talk about it because I this closet behind me, I literally I call it the portal to hell. Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of stuff happen in the in this house, which is why I this is just kind of like I mean, it wasn't like the between that and watching all the paranormal stuff we watch is kind of why we did it, but we see a lot of shit in this house, a lot of shadow figures and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, now, right. As I said that, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. As I said that it says internet connection, unstable. Yeah. Yeah. We call you. Cause you, you just went like you, your screen just froze. Yep. yep. See what I mean? Yeah. This fucking house, this I, house. I'm I'm just looking behind you, just making sure. Oh, don't do that, bro. You're gonna freak. No, me no, out. no, no. I'm just making sure. You know, uh, like, no, look, but really, if you see me leave, then you know something's up. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, no, we just have we have a lot of weird stuff. It's never been anything like no, no one's ever like been malicious or anything. It's just been weird shit, you know. Yeah. So, stuff like that. So that's what kind of it. Oh, I'm what? sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No, it was just saying that's what kind of inspired all this because we were like, man, we live this shit. We talk about it. We watch it every, like literally every day of the week. We watch yeah. this shit. So I was like, you know what? My wife didn't want to do a podcast at first, but I was like, what if we did a paranormal podcast where we watch some shit, make fun of some of it, enjoy yeah. some of it and say whether or not we think it's real. If I was like, let's just have fun with it. And she she got on board. So because honestly, you, you go in and and. And also, there's an old person, Loner Podcast, which the, which deals with like cryptics, like cryptids, they call it, you know, mm -hmm. like like Bigfoot or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any paranormal podcast. I thought when you said, you know, you tell me something, I thought you meant like TV shows or YouTube channels. Now, I know tons of those, but as far yeah. as podcasts, I don't know a lot of. Well, podcasts. those are the two, and myth. Oh, was a uh, mythic uh, something? I forgot the name, but I'll, I'll message that we call it like that that uh, person as well. Yeah, message me all those, and I'll yeah. check them out. 
Yeah, so it's a mythic something because I was going to have them on and then, you know, they, they canceled for something that came up. But uh, Life Paranormal with V, she's going to be like, you know, like in the beginning of uh, probably like the 8th or 9th of January. So I had her on once before. So it was awesome. Man, I would definitely I would definitely talk to her and have her on just because I'm skeptical about it. I would still like to hear what she has to say because yeah. I'm, I'm open to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm just very, I'm, I'm just very skeptical with the mediums, and I think it's only because of the portrayal that that is on TV and YouTube and stuff, where most of them are fucking, they're full of shit. Yeah, but you know, you know what you do? Check out her podcast. Check out the thing because she does like storytelling and everything else, and and it's like what happens when she was younger, happens like you know certain days, and what kind of things that she does. I'll check them out and just check it out and all that. You know, same thing, loner podcast. You know, they go and talk about well, it's just her, but you know, she told me once before, you know, that something about like paranormal stuff, you know, because we did a thing on hers about uh, 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 what was it? Uh, the the uh, what's that Bermuda Triangle, the yeah. Bermuda Triangle, okay. yeah. So I, I was making jokes about it, like. I was like, yeah, well, you never know what's in it. You know, Bermuda Triangle could be, you know, the things from the water. You know, like the water could be a different uh, colorization or or it could be like the, the volcanic thing doing something underneath. It'd be like magnetic fields. And yeah, shit. Magnet fi- magnetic fields or, or you know, it could be a supernatural thing. There might be a real fucking door like on the water. Or something, yeah. or well, that's like, have you ever heard of the Bridgewater Triangle? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm making fun of. Like, I'm like, it could be like that, or you could be seeing like the Golden Girls on the other side of the fucking door. Yeah, the bridge, yeah. the the Bridgewater Triangle is like this little area in Massachusetts, man, and it's where they. Have you ever heard of the fucking Puckwudgie? I think so. It's I think. Rid- it, it it's, sounds familiar. It's ridiculous. It's like this little troll thing. <laughs> yeah. Not trolls are good. They almost like you know you got them out in your front yard. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking dude. You gotta Google this thing, okay? First, you gotta figure out how to spell it. Then you gotta look it up. Yeah. But it's called a, a puckwaji. It's uh, <laughs> look. I'm not trying to be mean. Anybody believes it? It's stupid. Okay. <laughs> puckwaji. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look this thing up. And there are people who really believe in this thing. And it looks that like something like, out of a. It looks like something out of a bad '80s movie. It sounds like uh, sounds like a town from upstate New York. Yeah. Did you, did you ever did you ever watch that movie? Um, I think it was called Cat's Eye. It was like a Stephen King movie. Yeah, yeah, where the cat goes in every kind of different such and scenario. Yeah, but do you remember there was like a little troll thing? Yeah, do you remember it yeah, reminds yeah, that, all right. the, the little hat yes. thing. And yeah, the puck wudgie reminds me of that. Yeah. Okay. And then also you got troll, you know, the movie troll, troll yeah. two, you mm-hmm. know, like that kind of thing. And okay, well, the puck wudgie's on that level. Yeah. Like, okay. But there are there are people out there swear to God this thing is real. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, the, man. The Bermuda Triangle for the Bridgewater Triangle is fucking people up. Yeah. I mean, we were just like, we're trying to talk about, we were just talking about that, trying to just make sense of it. And she goes, I don't know. I'm a, she's a science major and she's trying to see like the whole scientific nature of the whole thing. And I'm like, okay. All right, well, check this out. I'm, I'm fr- originally, that's where I'm from. I'm from that area. I'm from a town called Taunton. It's not far from Bridgewater. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to know what's really going on in the Bridgewater Triangle? I've solved it. I've got this figured out. Yeah. It's fucking drugs, man. <laughs> They're all, most of the people are on drugs. I just saw something. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Yeah. You saw something. You just snorted it and there it went. Yeah. yeah we know. Like, oh, there goes my $500 deductible. Yeah. Oh. I'm telling, I'm telling you, man, I'm from that area. It's a bad drugs up there. It's, uh, they have more it's like more heroin overdoses than anywhere else in the country uh and and i'm telling you a lot of these people they just have nothing else to do so they're getting fucked up yeah. and there's the secret of the i solved it right here on tattoo squid <laughs> tattoo squid show podcast that's yeah. it people i got it i'm out <laughs> with with the patriots jersey <laughs> not only is it's my it's my old tom brady one too the the Pukwudgie is wearing a Patriots jersey. No, no, no. I'm not the fucking Pukwudgie. No, I'm not saying you, but there is probably one wearing a Patriots jersey. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Tom Brady's the Pukwudgie, and that's why yeah, he's so yeah. fucking good. Yeah, he just wants to in- deflate some shit. You know, yep. You know, the, you know. <laughs> I love that, that that's still going around, like the whole deflate thing, because now he's in Tampa Bay, which is my father-in-law's favorite team. So <laughs> I now I'm... 
But now I've turned that around. You know, I did. We could when I I was driving. I was driving to work, and I had to fly. And I'm like, ah, fucking Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I'm looking around and people are like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I got I got something funny for you. I went to Walmart. And you know, you ever seen the memes of Walmart? Yeah, like you see it on Facebook, but well, Facebook, but like I think you'll see it on Twitter as well. Like they'll show all these like things that would happen at Walmart, like after hours. Like if mm-hmm. they're open at one, two o'clock in the morning, you see the freaky uh fucking people coming out. Yeah, you know, like there's like one woman that she'll walk in there. Wearing just like the bed sheet because she doesn't. Oh yeah, in, you know that, that must be in that must have been in Florida. <laughs> yeah, or you know, like some guy, you know, like just wearing like you know, like thigh high nylon stockings and <laughs> and like short or whatever. And I'm like, the oh, fuck. So I go to I go to Walmart today, and I'm like looking at these laptops. I want to get like a newer one. And all of a sudden, I hear this lady, this woman, and her boyfriend, I guess, or whatever, her husband, and they're just like talking like really fucking loud. Oh, I got to get my Christmas shopping done. I got to do this. Blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden he goes, well, we got to get this. And as soon as he said that, she turns around and she goes, well, I'm, I'm going to get late for doing this, right? And I'm like, really <laughs> fucking loud. And I'm like, I was like, wait, what? You know? And <laughs> what the like, fuck? Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like just mouthed it. I didn't say it. I was like. You know, so then I wore like a Slayer fucking sweatshirt and the guy's like, oh, Slayer. Yeah. Now, given there is a whole bunch of like ethnic people around, him, mm. you know, and all of a sudden he goes, oh, Slayer. Fuck. Yeah. None of this, you know, rap crap. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, man, you like, you're in the wrong fucking area, man. You are not going to be walking straight after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Do you guys have like all the same like tropes about Walmart as we do like in the South? What's that? Like just like the dirtiest, worst fucking people ever is just fo- yeah, Walmart. That's what I'm talking about like those kind of people. Yeah, I know. I just didn't know if that was like a one-off thing because like in Florida, you could go any time of the day, and that's the shit that's going on. Walmart is like where I'd say sixty percent of your Florida man stories start at is at Walmart. Yeah, just the dumbest shit. I always bring this one up because this one has always baffled me the most, but it was like some guy goes to Walmart and offers some lady like, I don't know, it was like 10 grand by her daughter (laughs) and just thought that that was okay. Like he was just like, like it was like, like he was buying something off the shelf at Walmart. The fucking Florida is nuts, man. Oh man, I don't know. It's like once once you said something about you know with snakes and all that, and now yeah, I'm oh, like, hey, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, you were out when we started talking about the snakes, man. Uh, yeah, I was done, man. That was it. Like you said snakes and all that. Oh, we find them in the house too. My fuck that shit. Oh yeah, man. They get they get in. You got to be careful. You got to check under your sheets at night. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> This is in Australia. Yeah, I know. You know, by the way, look out for behind that thing behind the counter. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> no, but it is. It's as bad as I I tell it. It's uh, there's snakes everywhere, dude. Yeah. It's Florida. It's Florida. I mean, it could be. It's December, right? It's probably yeah. cold where you're at, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like oh, very chill, yeah. It's fucking eighty two degrees out here. There's snakes. Yeah. Eighty two. I there's I have. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I live up against a little section of woods, so we get snakes in my yard all the time. Yeah, uh, twelve months a year. I was like, you know, because I I seen something about uh some guy was was going to the bathroom. And he he opened up the the toilet, you know, seat, and there's like a big fucking boa like wrapped underneath. It happens underneath the seat, and I and I always look now. I'm like, <laughs> I think you're gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but oh, maybe like, sewer maybe sewer rats or something, depending on where you live. But. Those I could I those I can handle because I'm used to that shit. Yeah. You know? See, I'm the opposite. I'm fine. Like I'm used to the snakes, but the rats fuck that. You know, you got rats that you got over in, in the city alone, you're gonna get like you know, rats about the size of a chihuahua. Do you, you live know? in the do you live in the city? No, no, I live in the suburbs and all that, but when I go out to the city, you know, that's like the craziest fucking shit. You know? Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a scenario of what happened. Like, well, it doesn't even involve any animals. You know, well, okay, you're talking about like Pantera. There's a bunch of animals right there. So, uh, <laughs> my foreman, when I was working at Entenmann's, yeah, name drop Entenmann's. Okay, I worked there, and delicious. Yes, they are. You know, like when you first go there, when you first drive by the place, and you love the smell, you're like, oh, this is heaven. You worked there ten years. You want to burn something down? Yeah. 
it's still, like, still delicious. Yeah, it's still delicious. But, <laughs> you know, so my foreman, he's like, oh, you know, I, I know the guys from Pantera. I know the this and this. I'm like, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe he's just blowing smoke up our asses or something. I don't know. But we'll play along. You know, if we're just going to go to the city, I'm like, at least we can just go our separate ways and then whatnot. So we went We went to uh, 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 the Hammerstein Ballroom. Okay. And got down there and all of a sudden he was like, oh, no, don't worry, we're on the VIP seatings. I'm like, okay. So then we went to this one side and we got through for the VIP seatings. I'm like, okay, cool. We sat there, got the free drinks and everything else. And I'm like, all right. And we see the band like on the next stage right next to us. And we were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, you know, people, if you don't know what Down is, Down has uh, Phil Ensemble from Pantera, Rex Brown from Pantera, which is the only two remaining Pantera members. Mm -hmm. Um, Kurt Weinstein from uh, Crowbar, uh, Pepper Keen from Corrosion of Conformity, and Jimmy Bauer, which I think he's on suicide, uh, suicidal, uh, not tendencies. No, not tendencies, but he's in with the side project of Phil Ensemble. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're watching those, and I'm like, oh, this is great. I fucking spent all my fucking 40 bucks already. Yeah. Because okay. <laughs> all I had was like 40 bucks to fucking spend. I'm like, drank all the fucking booze I got. You know, and then all of a sudden, after he goes, hey, we're going, we're going backstage in the, the, you know, in the, the dressing room. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Really? Oh, man. Hell yeah. So we go back there. They got the food set up. They got the beer. They got the booze. They got sodas, whatever. Everybody's walking around. Rex Brown comes up to me. He goes, I hear your name is Andre. I'm like, yeah. He goes, it's like Andre the Giant. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. I am seven foot tall. Yes, I am. <laughs> 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 so then all of a sudden after they're passing around this like pipe you know not a pipe but like like a like a, a pipe that like hello there how you doing from England. oh like a fucking corn cob pipe yeah yeah exactly <laughs> okay and so my my foreman he's known to have a little okay uh, little, God, little, got you, got you. Oh, all right so all of a sudden that he, and he's the one that turns around to me and says because you know, I grabbed a pipe, I'm like, really? And I used to smoke cigarettes like all the time. So I'm like, yeah, I'll try this. Yeah, no problem. It should be good. You know? Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like, why? It's like, you don't know what the hell's in there. Like, this come from the guy that snored cocaine on the, on the cafeteria table at work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden he goes, okay, okay. Yo, don't say I didn't warn you. And I'm like, I'm fucking like, <sighs> and I'm like, okay, cool. You know, no problem. Then we got in the tour bus. You know, then we got in the tour bus. That, oh, from oh. what I could figure, we went on the tour bus. Well, we were on the tour bus, drinking fucking Beck Spears and everything else, having a great time. Then we got off, walking down to uh, 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 Penn Station. Well, so we get down to Penn Station. Now we're in Penn Station. I'm sitting on the steps. I don't even know that I'm at Penn Station. That's how bad it was. <laughs> you oh, know, shit, I'm like, man. I'm like, dude, uh, when we're getting to Penn Station, he goes, motherfucker, we're in Penn Station. Goes, I told you to smoke that fucking pipe. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, I'm like, you know, we get onto the train, and then we told the conductor, like, listen, just wake us up when we're, like, you know, and get to, like, this certain town. Oh, yeah, no problem. And he did. You know, he did, to his credit. You know, <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, he just left you there, and then that was it, you know, but. They always got to check the seats and all that afterwards, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, more than likely if we miss a stop, we'll be like one town over. So that, that was like the last stop anyway. And it was, it was, a, it was such a fucking cool ass fucking night. You know, what the fuck did you smoke? You know what? To this day, I still have no fucking idea. Oh my God. You know, but what's funny is I got Kurt Weinstein's fucking phone number. But you, you know, could have smoked angel dust for all you know. It could have been something. I don't know. I, I don't remember shit about it. You know, I know it? I remember what happens, but did you have, did you have fun? Oh yeah, no, awesome. I totally, I would do it again. totally, yeah. totally yeah. fucking worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. I'm like, <laughs> you, you can't really just go and say, oh, I did this and not have fucking fun. You met people in the band that you love listening to. I want to meet Phil Anzelmo. I met him when he was fucking like out of his mind with a uh, yeah. Uh, you know you know the, the, yeah but phil is phil's fucking rad dude yeah no i mean he is you know, now and even before yeah you know it's like but he i just like i just met him he's like like dude you, you got a stogie man 
Yo. Listen, you you know Phil is crazy when they wouldn't even let him go to the funeral for Dimebag. Oh, I know. That yeah. you know that's crazy, man. Because they were in that band for fucking ever. Yeah, but there was like there was like issues going on even from way before. Yeah, well, I understand that, but still, like when he died, you still think that'd be a moment where somebody's like, Yeah, you know, come pay your respects. And they were like, No, motherfucker. So even Zach Wild was like, No, you can't, yeah. you can't, you can't. Yeah, you can't. they were like, No, nah. it's remorse. It's all remorse. I mean, not now with uh you know Vinny and Paul, you know, because both are mm-hmm. passed away and all that. Um and also if you want to hear anything about uh about Dimebag's uh passing like what happened with the fatal shooting, go listen to Riviere uh crime podcast. Oh shit. They did like a whole crime pack co- oh man I can't talk all of a sudden crime yeah. podcast about Dimebag. Yeah, she did like a deep dive and she is, her name is Paige, does a deep dive on everything that was about that incident. Oh shit, I'm going to have to check that out. The person that did the shooting, where he lived, you know, where... I've I've watched some shit about that guy. It was a little while ago, but that motherfucker was nuts. Yeah, and she even gives more detail about how nuts he is. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Yeah, check that out. We call it because I was going to have her on. I still need one to have her on and talk about that, you know, because that was just crazy. I mean, from a time of dying back, getting shot like two or three times in the chest and two times in like the head. Mm-hmm. And and his brother's like in the, by the drum kit, like, you know, and sees this whole fucking thing. That's sad, man. That's you know, it, it's, you know, it. it it, it, there is like my mom says there's a lot of fucking crazy people in the world and i'm like yeah i know and it's just like you know but <laughs> she was saying yeah. that mostly about my dates that i was going out <laughs> but i think know. my mom would have said the same thing about mine yeah yeah it's like there's some crazy fucking people out there you know <laughs> don't say that too loud my other crazy person's out in the living room nah but hey that's 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 the good kind of crazy you know so. <laughs> is it uh, well i'm not yeah i'm asking you <laughs> i don't know man <laughs> i don't know no she's good she's good but no like we walk around with these people every day dre like we walk the streets we go shopping we send our kids to school with all these people in the fucking world and that's frightening yeah yeah that's frightening the kind of people that'll just show up at a show and fucking pop somebody right like right in front of everybody these are the people we share the fucking world with man school shooters and snipers and fucking serial killers and rapists and all kinds of terrible shit about that we call it you know and i mentioned this on with uh uh aaron from i i said you know i had to say it and i'll I'll say it again because this is like crazy because me and my girlfriend we're thinking about moving you know but it had to be like next year so but the only reason that we're thinking about it because you know we find out there's a meth lab we live in a complex we live in a complex apartment thing so all of a sudden when you hear stuff from other people it's like oh there was a meth lab like around the corner and i'm like what the fuck really and oh man when you said that in the space the other day i thought yeah. you were just fucking around no man it's fucking real shit wow and then, so they had that and then there was one under under investigation like an old apartment that has like whatever then there's people being up somebody over in one apartment down down the ways and and all of a sudden i'm like what the fuck is going on and i'm like and on our building we just have like dogs barking and all that that's about mm. it but then like thanksgiving when we got back home and it was like maybe we were watching movies until like one o'clock in the morning and then Mm. uh then all of a sudden i see like flashing lights going on and i hear beeping so i figured that if somebody's getting put you know the car getting towed away or some shit you know and then all of a sudden we find out there was a homicide like in an old building over i just saw one of those uh yesterday morning on my way to on my way to work, somebody died right just in the fucking middle of the street. Oh shit! Yeah, they had to redirect traffic. I had to drive all the way around town to get to work. I was super fucking late. Nah. But what? listen, as much as I don't like Florida, like hearing shit like this, all right, Florida's crazy too. Don't get me wrong, but I couldn't imagine. Like I don't know, I don't know how to say it. It just seems like all your shit happens in like this one area, and that yeah. sucks. At least our shit's all spread out. I just I'm from up north. I just I don't have any like desire to move back there. I I do want to move, but I I want to be as far away from the city as I can be. It's to the point of now we we were we were talking about like we actually today we drove out to in the morning to see these houses, even though Mm. we're not going to be able to get anything by until next year. Like I said, 
Um, but it was like very interesting to look at and we're like, oh, let's just see how it looks in the daytime. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden we went down there and I saw it like at night and I couldn't really make heads or tails about what the place would look like, you know? So mm-hmm. we went down there and it was pretty cool. And you know, we found like two or three houses that was on the, the online thing that, you know, they were selling and it looked pretty decent and all that. So, but it was like a trailer. It wasn't a trailer park. It was, mm-hmm. but the houses are more now more refined looking than mm-hmm. it was back in the day. Yeah. I lived in a trailer 20, 30 years ago. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're really way, is. they're way better now. Yeah. It's way better. It looks like a major house, but you mm-hmm. know, it was a trailer, but it has like certain features that you're like, wow, this is really cool. So yeah. and you might- I'd move. I, I'd live in a trailer again, I, especially like a newer one. I have no problem with that. Yeah. You know, cause my girlfriend was like, she goes, you know, I wasn't even thinking about that. But now, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't mind me one bit. You know, I mean, we could live in one of those. I'm like, hey, let's do it. Well, it's smart, too, that you guys are looking now. Like, it's it's smart to, to start looking early. Yeah, well, she has a friend that's a realtor. And um, mm-hmm. and she's like, well, wait until you get pre-approved. And then we'll see what goes on with that. And blah, blah, blah. You know, and then mm-hmm. she's going to help us out. So she's going to, like, you know, show us, like, places, like, starting like next month like in the new year and all that she'll take us to certain places that she knows and um that we can see and we can make our decisions with that yeah to yeah. me and my me and my wife we're about to do the same thing we have a little bit longer though we're we don't uh this house was kind of always it was always known that they were going to sell it um but we got to live here for we've been here for quite a while but we're going to start looking for a new house i just don't think i don't know i don't know if i'm going to stay in florida or not yeah. i think i, I think i want to leave I really, for some reason, I have my heart set on going out to the West Coast. I want to go to like Washington State or like Oregon or something. I want to, I want to go walk through the Redwood Forest at least one fucking time. <laughs> Man, we could, you know, Washington is awesome. Yeah, you know. uh, Oregon, yeah, we could. Uh, yeah, that's where you know the fucking uh, you know grunge. It was like written. Oh, oh yeah, I dude. Before I die, I want to go see Jimmy Strat, and it's out there. It's at this little museum. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's it's right in like Seattle area and they have his white Stratocaster in there and I want to see it. Yeah. So yeah. bad. I want I want to see I'm bag and uh, and Vinnie Paul uh great. Yeah. See, look, I love Pantera, yeah. but I don't love Pantera to the level that I love Jimi Hendrix. And it's oh, not yeah. that like and everybody loves Jimmy, but for me, it was just very influential growing up. It's been such a big part of my he's, his music has been such a big part of my life throughout my entire life from being a baby until now. And uh, I don't know. I just hold I just hold him and his music in such high regard. It's weird Yeah. because I'm only 41. You know, he was like he was long. He was way gone before I ever even fucking was a twinkle in anybody's eye. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's but, crazy, man. It's like, yeah. It, it's you know there's like always like idols that you know and and there was like a major amount of idols like music idols that would just like pass away you know like mm. you know, Lemmy and and I know you had a thing about Dio and everything oh <laughs> I fucking hate yeah. Dio <laughs> you know yeah I know but I mean like you know with that whole thing you had Dio like you know passing away then you had you know like uh Richie uh you know, I forgot I forgot about that conversation <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was man, just I shredding just, them I just throw it back up <laughs> but, dude it's not even that I hate him I mean I don't like him it's just that his years with Black Sabbath they should have changed the fucking name yeah I know I know but it is what it is so but you know he's gone <laughs> And then you had like other people that's gone, and you know, so it's just fucking crazy, man. It was like, the great, the greatest ones always leave first. It's it sucks. Yeah. If you had to pick, I well, I got a question. I got to ask. We call it, you know, I want to ask this question. Okay. What? Because uh, I did this on my video, my second video. What? Uh, if you had to pick between the dead or the living, what would be your super group band? Oh. I mean, Hendrix is definitely going to be on guitar. Okay. <sighs> Ge- Geezer Butler on bass. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to think of like a good singer, like somebody that I would really. I'm picking Ozzy. Fuck it. I love Ozzy. I love Ozzy Osbourne. Right. But I'm going like early Ozzy I don't want old man Ozzy I want early Ozzy because he sounds different he sounds a lot different 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. My band's having two guitarists, so yeah. Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen's gonna be my other guitar player. Okay. Hey, him and Jimmy can fight over who's playing lead and who's playing fucking rhythm. I don't care. Well, you know, you know, Eddie's gonna be like, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't. You're not, gonna, I, you're not gonna argue with him. I don't really know who I would put on drums, though, man. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even I, I, I like this band. I don't love this band. I hate this dude, but I think he is a phenomenal drummer. I think I would pick uh, Tommy Lee. I think in his prime, he was bad as hell. Either him or Travis Barker. OK, yeah, I think one one of them guys, I think one of them too. fuck it. I don't like Tommy Lee. He's kind of piece of shit. I'm going to go Travis Barker because he's just insane fucking energy. So there's my band. That is going to be the weirdest fucking music you're ever going to hear. And all of them are going to have super strange personalized license plates on their cars. And like mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but mine would be uh, obviously Dimebag. Dimebag would be one. <laughs> so I got Dimebag would be one guitarist. And then um, I had to think of somebody else. There was, there, there was like it, Jimmy was going to be the other guitarist, actually, you know, for what I was like. But I wanted to go somewhere different. Basis would be Cliff Burton. Oh, I didn't even think about Cliff. Fucking yeah. Cliff them all. Drums would be Randy Castillo. You know, oh. yeah. So because he's just major fucking like on a bong shit. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, uh, oh yeah, I said living or dead. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, you know what's funny? We just keep it together. We'll go. We'll go. Uh, Zach Wild and D and uh and uh Dimebag because those those are like buddies. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they they play good together. Oh yeah, no, they did they did like a, a guitar uh show off kind of thing. Did they? Then, yeah, oh, I'd have yeah, to see yeah. that. Yeah, like when they're like performing and everything else, and they're there's fucking like uh, Dimebag all like that, and then you see Zach going like you know like bowing down and shit. But Dimebag is a Dimebag is a fucking legend, man, for oh, a yeah. reason. Yeah, it's like that's what everybody goes for. They're like they get the guitars, they get the lightning ones, they get the Dean. See, that's the thing though. When it, when somebody's like, oh, like a question like that, like pick a guitar player or a band in this situation, my brain always goes to who 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 influences what who influenced what we like today. Yeah. So that's where my brain always picks from is like the guys that influence the shit that we all have grown to love now. I'm I'm still trying to think of a, a fucking singer actually. That's the hardest one, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, Pick Dio. No, no. I, you know, originally I was going to say that. Uh, Rob I, Halford. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. That could be in there. Actually, I got one. Dez, you know, from Double Driver. Cause he I had, don't know that band, though. No, no, but you're, you're, when you listen to it, then you'll be like, okay. But I'm not saying that you're going to like it or anything, but. I probably will. Next time when you listen to it and then we talk, let me know what you think. I'll check them out. Yeah. Hey, so let me ask let me ask you a question now. Yeah. What what kind of music do you think they'd make? Your band? Like rock metal, basically. You know, like that. It's gonna be it's in the rock category, but it's also metal in there because you got dime bag doing metal, but he still does like little country shit. He'll do like rock stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he does a lot of. He, I always, I always consider Dimebag like they were doing southern thrash metal. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, it was it was like that. But then they did a band. They had a band together. Uh, Rebel versus Rebel. No. Yeah. Or something like that. They had a band and they had like a, a country singer uh, on in the band and they're performing. I bet it was cool. I, I forgot what the name of the fucking band was. I think it was Rebel. Rebel meets Rebel meets Rebel. I think it was. And then uh, it was just like the greatest fucking. Oh, I gotta look it up now. Fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I swear I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it. You know, I had to. Uh, I think it's Rebel versus Rebel. I've never heard of that either, man. I'd have to. I'd have to look that up too. Because um, oh, what the fuck is the guy's name? Hold on, hold on. Let me uh. Fuck. Rebel meets not Rebel. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, Rebel meets Rebel. Uh, Rebel meet uh, Rebel meets Rebel. Yeah. So there's uh, Rex Brown from Pantera, okay. Paul, 
Dimebag, and David Allen Cole. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? David, David Allen, Allen Cole. I know who the fuck he is. Yeah, it's, he's it's, not a man. He's just... What? Yeah, man. I'm gonna have. To, I'm definitely gonna have to look into that now. Yeah, Rebel meets Rebel. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna. You know what? That's gonna be the one I look up and get back to you about because that sounds fucking weird. Yeah. It's like they, the first song, it has them playing fucking casino. You hear him going, da, 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 you know, yes. it's like the, the thing. And it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, let's play some dice, you know. You're saying David Allen Co., right? Yeah. David. I can't. I, I'm sorry. I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around this because he's so he's just he's country he's just a country singer but that's what i'm saying because they played like some country shit but he yeah but he did a lot of like comedy shit (laughs) like he did a lot of comedy like like country cop he was very racist okay he was very racist yeah but i mean we thought that was the thing back then it was just like oh my god racist was a thing back then but oh my god no it was i I live in the south it was yeah but i mean we thought it was the music was just fucking great. You know, there was like some like mellow songs on there and there's like stuff that you wouldn't even think hey, yeah. of doing. I have to look that up. Yeah. I have to. That well, shit's right, right that... because you're gonna you're gonna fucking No, break. no, Rebel Me Treble. I'm gonna remember that. And that yeah. shit just blew my it just blew my fucking mind. So I will remember that. Because it told you here at first here. It just blew the mind <laughs> of Steve. Oh, break on through! Oh my and, God! And for the booze, I uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to imagine this shit because I mean, I know who David Allen Co is because because there was a song I don't know what the name I forgot what the name of the song is, but he he uh, was hanging out with Dimebag and Dimebag's girlfriend Rita was on there too, but then they mentioned her name on the song, and he goes, you know, like you know, from you know. Was a ravishing Rita comes up to me and is like, "Hey, have you seen Dimebag?" He's like, "I thought she, was, I thought she was looking for a joint." You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, oh and, man, and that like, sounds on brand. He's like, I didn't know it was like a real fucking guy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely be checking that out. I just, I can't even wrap my head around it. It's just, uh, it's, it's just sounds funny to me for some reason. But it, it's, it's crazy shit. You know, like. That's like something. Uh, well, he probably passed away too. I think I don't know, or unless he's still fucking alive. I don't know. Do you do you listen to any like newer music, like newer metal stuff, or just, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I try to like. There's after the burial. There's I had this kid on my show who was a singer for a band called The Static Wake. You should check them out. They're fucking phenomenal. All right, let me write that down. Static Wake. Yeah, these guys, uh, they're all out of like Ohio. Um, but their music is super professionally done. And this kid's like 23, man. And he's writing and singing. So like, it's really good music. You should just check it out. It's super good. Oh, yeah. It's very, it's very, it's newer. I mean, it's not, you're not going to get your like Pantera kicks off on it or anything, but yeah. it's newer. It's like, um, what we, I guess we would call, I would call it like metal core type metal. It's real fast. Um, it's almost emo a little bit, but it's really good. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, wait, let me just okay. I was just writing down. Uh, I was just typing. Uh, not typing. I was putting down honorable mention, so I won't forget. <laughs> yeah, um, they're a good band. Anybody, anybody watching this or listening to, you should check them out. They're really good. Yeah, we call it. I'll only, I'll only see if they have a, 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 you know, Twitter thing as well, so I can you know tag them. No Twitter and no. More, a lot of these guys, oh, a lot, it's very weird. A lot of these bands, I or even band members that I talk to, don't have Twitters. You know, it's like I I was never really a Twitter guy. You know, mm. it's like I like when I started doing the podcast, then I figured, okay, let me go on Twitter because that's what it seemed like everybody was doing. Yeah, and then I didn't know that like was it? I did mine in like 2019 or something like or around there, and and I went on there and it was on after I was like I just meant you know I just like seeing like people that are about horror movies. And I love horror <laughs> movies. I'm like, fuck yeah. I'll, I'll like, you know, I'll talk about horror movies, this and that. Yeah. You know? I love horror movies too, but I don't get to watch too many of them these days because my wife, she gets pretty scared. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, it just tell her, we call it, it's just actors. That's it. There's nothing. Yeah. That's it. I tell my girlfriend that. I'm like, listen, it's just actors. And she knows that. But it's like, she doesn't like, she'll watch a horror movie, but she won't watch it because it, it's like nonsense, nonsense killing. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, for like, sure. like, like a, a, like a saw movie or something. Yeah. It's, it's fake. Yeah. I don't know that scene in saw two where they throw the lady in the hypodermic needle pit. That shit, yeah. that shit fucked me up because I hate needles. Yeah. But then also, you know, the, the woman, the, the girl is part, you know, like part it's of the a junkie. Yeah, yeah. But dude, yeah. But still, I don't care, dude. That shit messed me up. Yeah. What messed me up was the, they actually, the, the chainsaw, there was like a chainsaw scene, like the very beginning of the movie. I, I don't know what part it was, but uh, it was like in New York City. And there's like this, uh, you know, like a big case kind of thing, you know, like a glass case, you know, molding around. Like they did, they did this, like made it just perfectly for this area. And then you see two guys chained to one side, two chainsaws facing down. And there's two circular saws, and then the girl is up top of the other one, and then she cheated on both of them. But which one? Which one? Which one was that? I don't know what which one it is. I, I forgot because there's a whole bunch of crazy shit. Yeah. So I I don't man. I remember number one and number two the best because I think those are the only two that I really watched like multiple times. But um, what you're saying. Sounds familiar, but I can't probably, remember which one it was. Like four, maybe five. Yeah, uh, somewhere around it, like the later, later ones. But then uh, the one with uh, the the lead singer of Lincoln Park, the one that passed away, like you know, a couple of years. Ch- ago. Chester Bennington. Yeah. So that that one, that one really, actually, that's the one that fucked me up. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't. I don't think I've seen that one then because I don't remember him being in one of those movies. All right, well, yeah, no, he's he's in. Let, let me just paint a picture. Okay. So he, he's in the car. His whole back is super glued to the seat. So his whole back is super, I mean, really, his skin is on a seat. So he can't move or he's just ripping himself. That's disgusting. So the the car is lifted up, like off the wheels, like the back part of the wheels. There's a guy chained underneath one of the wheels. His face is like about yay, like that much from the wheel. There's an L guy in the back with hooks into his skin, Jeez. you know, attached to the truck or no, a car actually. And then the, the timer, like back to the future kind of thing, mm-hmm. it hits like 88 or something, whatever number <laughs> the thing, everything goes. And he, you know, Chester's trying to go and get this and he's ripping his own back, mm. like peeling it, like, you know, exactly. And then trying to get this thing, but it's like, could not get it. Thing goes, chain pops. See, uh, the the car comes down on the guy's face with the wheel spinning still. Oh, gross! Rips the whole thing off, speeds out, tears the whole inside of the one guy that's uh, against the wall. Oh, like, disgusting! Oh, like holy shit! And then Chester Benny is like, like still alive he's like uh but he's like bleeding all around his back and everything else but then that was the thing with those movies right no matter what the outcome was you were pretty much fucked anyway see now now my philosophy about the whole thing they were saying like oh you know uh jigsaw you know he killed all those people i'm like no he actually did not kill all those people one one person that started the whole thing that that guy he 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 killed because he had like an affair with the Yes. White, yeah. I think it is. Mm-hmm. So he's killed that person because he doesn't give a shit because he has cancer. That was the only person he mm-hmm. killed. Everybody else that has been died in his name basically was, you know, they had a choice. Mm-hmm. Well, he wasn't it after like the third movie? It wasn't even him anymore, anyways. He was dead. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. dead, but he, he still had everything planned out for more. Yeah it down the line but it was like his daughter or something i remember after a certain point it wasn't him it was like his daughter or something like that that was doing it no actually i think it was the wife okay it was something yeah, it was it something was like that it was yeah. the wife that was doing because after it came back full circle mm-hmm. of what happened and then she kept on doing the whole thing so she was doing the whole behind the scenes even though the uh the guy that was helping jake saw in like the third or fourth one and then he started you know doing all this stuff but he thought he was doing it but she was still pulling the screen the strings behind so to speak behind uh 
you know, the scenes kind of thing. And then you see it like in the eighth one, I think there is, or is it really that many of them? Yeah, Man, there's th- a th- lot of them. Then there, then there's a few I haven't seen. I, yeah, yeah. So there was like, you know, the Chester one is probably in that. I scene. thought I saw them all, but I guess not. I'm behind. Yeah. I got, I got, I got pretty much like every fucking DVD, I think. You know, I bought every DVD and I've watched every one of them. And uh, I'm pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not saying I'm pretty cool about having a DVD, but, you know, the guys that directed the thing mm-hmm. and made the props, wow. they were like, yeah, we've been asked, like, how do you fucking sleep? And yeah, I bet. I bet. You know, it's like, I, you know, like, dude, I don't know how we do it. It's like, we, we should be like oh. jail or something because we shouldn't be thinking of this kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fucking nuts. It's gross, man. Yeah. But what is it? There is like. A... Oh yeah, man. Let's see. There is a. So. I'm... Oh man, my 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 internet's starting to get a little wonky. Oh. Yeah. It's probably that woman. <laughs> it's it's the ghost. Yeah. In the closet. I'm trying to. He's coming out. Oh, s- stop it! I have to sleep in here. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, freaked me out, man. Uh, let's see. Six. I think there's like seven actually, because it goes up to six, and then Saw 3D is the final chapter. But then seven years later, they made another one called Jigsaw. Yeah, but then didn't they just come out? They just came out with a new one, didn't they? Yeah, Spiral. Yeah, Spiral with a uh, Chris Rock. I I don't think I've seen any past like maybe like number four or five. Yeah, yeah. So that's like, uh, yeah, the one that got me also was the 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 girl that wore the the reverse bear trap. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, that that, that one, one was cool. Yeah, but I think I think that's the, the one that she really used, like down in a, one of the movies. You know, mm-hmm. one of them that didn't happen to her, but I think down the line it did happen to her. So the guy put it on her, and you know, yeah, that one was cool. I lo- I love the creativity in the movies. Oh yeah, no, it's great. It's just like have you ever seen Hostel? Oh yeah. Oh, I've seen. I think I've only seen the original. There is actually three of them. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I figured they would take off. Oh, no, those. I thought there was two, but then I found out there's a third one, and I saw the third one as well. And I'm like, wow. Mm. It's like the first one is all boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, first one's all boys, second one's all girls, you know, getting tortured as it is. The third one is a wedding party. Oh, Jesus Christ. So it's a bachelor, bachelorette party, and the guy that planned it, he's part of that secret organization mm-hmm. and just goes and kills everybody in the wedding party it's just good. dude th- th- those movies are basically just gore porn yeah you know but i mean i went on i was just like i was intrigued because i didn't know there's gonna be a third one and i'm like oh, I'll, I'll watch it you know whatever you know but the worst one to see and i uh, somebody on the internet told this story about it i'm like all right i'm intrigued i want to see this it's called bone tomahawk I don't have not have no idea what Kurt that is. Russell's in it plays like a Confederate kind of like general. Okay. Um, well, I'm 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 gonna say Confederate, but that's what it looked like. He had like the mustache, like Colonel Mustard, uh, not Colonel Mustard. Um, I know what you mean. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, you know, and but he has like you know the troops, but a whole bunch of savages come and they capture him, but they're trying to go and and interrogate. Well, not interrogate, but. They grab one guy and Kurt Russell is like, don't say a word, don't say a word. And they fucking scout the guy. Like, oh, yeah. like scout them. But then they flip him upside down. And it's like, oh, well, I'm not going to say nothing. And all of a sudden, after they just chop him from his never region down. Oh, my God. And, like, and then spread him apart like, like a chicken wing. Holy shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> Hell like, yeah. Oh, but there is a game that I'm supposed to. Hopefully, I'm going to get this game, and it's a game called Movie Movie Game. Basically, the Movie Movie Game is synapses, synapses of each movie, and you got to meld it together into one word. So, like, say, and the reason I say this is because 
he used the synapses of that movie. Okay. And, you know, he goes, nobody's going to get this movie, but this guy, you know, and they're mm-hmm. like, he goes, oh, yeah, something about, it's like that scene, you know that scene, oh, yeah, he gets split really hard, you know, <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm like, I know which one he's talking about, and then they, the old guy got it, but he was like, holy shit, you basically, like, like, all right, let's do it, for instance, uh, old man wearing a dark suit, chases after his own son to join him on the other side but he couldn't find him so he went onto the computer but all that computer wanted to do was play video games and uh mm-hmm. and causes the almost it like lawn like was that like lawnmower man or some shit Nah, so you figured you get the one no it's two movies synapses okay. so the description in one is Star Wars. Okay. So old man in the black suit, we call it, gets his son to be on his side. All right. You know, so that's Star Wars. But he gets on a computer, but all the computer wants to do is play video games. So that was the movie with Matthew Broderick, War Games. Oh, War Games. Okay. Yeah. All so right. then you figure, and then you put them all together and you put Star War Games. Oh, okay. So it's like that thing you have to use like kind of like a Pictionary kind of thing, but with words. Okay. You know, and I ordered, I put it in for the Kickstarter, so I should be getting that in a couple of weeks, and I'm hoping to do that on this show with other people and get people to come on and play games. That's cool. You That's know? a cool idea. And I like I, that. I, I want to ask people to get those little buzzer things, you know, mm-hmm. like the little, you know, like, eh. Eh, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 and then whoever rings it, you know, they go eh, like that, and I'm like, all right, go ahead, tell me what you think with this. Uh, <laughs> and if they win, like say out of five, okay, then if they win, like you know, whatever out of five, then they go on to the next round, and then I okay. get another set of people, and I go that they go to the next round, and then we go like that, and then you know, maybe that could be the third season. I don't know, mm. that could be the third season of doing something. I don't know. That's a cool idea. Yeah, get like that. You know, more little, and then and then at there the season goes by, and then we narrow everybody down. Then somebody gets like a prize, you know, and then I'll just send a prize out like I did for the the last uh, season I had. Yeah. So yeah, last That's... you know last season I did was like I did a hundred episodes, and I figured I'd do a giveaway like everybody else would do. They do a giveaway, and was it a a friend of mine that was we were talking about <laughs> Jack the Ripper, you know. So we did like a, a thing, a breakdown of Jack the Ripper, and then we just grab names out of a hat that's on Twitter, that's podcast people, and uh, we call it, you know, somebody would win, uh, you know, like a necklace from a friend of mine that sells like uh, necklaces and everything else from a jewelry shop and a knife store, and then there's like a video game place that has all these video game item stuff and what was the only one and a co- in a set of comic books that i had that i was trying to sell off <laughs> oh sick but, man i used to collect comic books as a kid but it was like it was like a stack a stack like that fucking big you know for nothing you know just giving away and i just picked like three random people that won it and you know they they got like those prizes for the 100th episode that's so, awesome but the sec- this second one, I'm going to try to get everybody, like, say, you and everybody else that I have talked to, you know, and bring them back for a uh, big, you know, like, Zoom chat fucking mail. Holy shit, that's going to be a big chat. Yeah, it's, you know, I don't think anybody has done it except for, like, school, you know, with kids and, mm-hmm. you know, and all that. But, you know, when they did the virtual shit, this will be, like, virtual, you know whatever you know and see what yeah, be the same thing yeah no yeah, i mean so it's it's, it's be, set up for this i'm hoping to do like 80 somewhat episodes or something so i have well like, what season what season are you on now uh, i'm doing season two right now so. you're on season two yeah but then everybody's like oh well how you know what kind of season is a season i'm like ah. you make it up <laughs> yeah so i figured okay, yeah. i'll just do 100 episodes and that was it and then i figured i'm gonna try doing 80 to 100 episodes of this one I mean, shit. I'm I'm going about I don't know four to six more episodes and calling it a season. 
Yeah, well, there you go. You can just do it that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, by then I'll be, what am I at now? I'm at seven or eight now. So that'll be, I don't know, around probably around 15, 15 episodes a season is what I'm going to do. Yeah. It's hard. Look, man, getting musicians to come on and find the time to talk to you can be kind of hard sometimes. Yeah. But same thing with, uh, you know, podcasters. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for everybody that came on and, mm-hmm. and made, and made time to be able to go and do it. I'm like, they didn't have to, but hey, you know, it was awesome that they put, they came on there and. Yeah. It's smart. It's smart though to have a show that has podcasters come on because we like to talk. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, but also you get to find out like the stuff behind the scenes. You know, like they, oh yeah, you know, like you know, like I had game for a movie or whatever, and then they they play a game beforehand, and whoever loses has to watch a, a cruddy fucking movie, and then <laughs> you know, and and I talked to the guy about it, and I was like, oh, we just talked about this, we talked about everything, and I write shit down that we talked about, like what. Mm-hmm. We up and and here's a other question which i forgot to mention who's gonna die first betty white or keith richards oh geez i i don't want betty white to die i don't want keith richards to die either well he <laughs> there was a choice oh gee well betty, betty, betty white betty, betty white's been good to us but i th- i think it's her time <laughs> okay so you're, you're saying betty white i don't want to but yes you're making me choose <laughs> You know, I'm like saw. I'm making. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. Betty White's a treasure, but I like music. So, but Betty don't White. mention anything on spaces about it. You know, because I've been trying to get the other. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't say anything. Okay. So you know, okay. Keith Richard. Listen, Keith Richards isn't ever going to die with all the drugs he's done and still smokes and shit, and he's still kicking. I think he's going to have quite a few more years. All right, so we got, and I'm doing a tally of this whole thing. So you know. Right now, there's like 14 people saying Keith Richards is going to kick it, and nine people, that's including you, saying that Betty White's going to kick it. So, nobody want nobody wants Betty White to die, dude. Want to do it, but you know Betty White is eight is 99 now. Yep, and she's going to be 100 January 17th, which I'm I want to do a Betty White birthday special. Do it, yeah, hell yeah. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to have like the theme song. Um, you know, the pictures are going to be Betty White, you know, like eating a hot dog or some shit. I don't know. Well, you looked it up. How old is Keith Richards? Uh, 76, 76, 77. <laughs> Dude, but he looked guys... like he died like three fucking times. He fucking he did. <laughs> yeah. It's like, holy shit. I'm like, even the drummer fucking died before he did. Yeah. I mean, think about it. That dude came to America and got famous in like 1964. Okay. Like fucking forever ago, man. And yeah. he's still, they're still selling out arenas and shit. How the fuck does Mick Jagger get up on stage and run around like that? That dude's fucking ancient. Yeah. I don't even know, man. We call it, well, that, that could be the first season. You know, what about Mick Jagger? And this, yeah. You know, dude, I'm fucking 41. I feel like I'm going to die half the time. How are these guys doing it? I'm 48. Remember, I'm the grandpa with Vinny. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm afraid I can't get up out of bed sometimes. You know, my knee and my my heel feel. That's like- what I'm saying. Then you got these guys like Keith Richards and Mick Jagger. They're still running around on stage like they're fucking teenagers, man. Yeah, man. Oh, fuck, man. This fucking wind is kicking. Shit. <laughs> you guys having crazy like weather? Yeah, I mean, no, it's it was like wind. It was raining at one point. Now it's just oh. like the wind has just fucking gone nuts. Let me look this up because man our weather is crazy too because it's fucking december it's at night and it is it is 72 out right now yeah uh, at what 9 30 at night in december yeah yeah i Which, hate uh, this we're gonna be uh you know bringing this down a little bit you know because yeah I gotta, I gotta get my shit together and uh yeah i got i actually i have to go record another podcast after yeah. this so, all right, my friend, um, please tell everybody where they can find you and the new podcast as well. Uh, okay, uh, Break On Through. I'm on pretty much everything. Uh, Twitter, I'm on uh, Instagram, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, basically anywhere. Anywhere you can find a, a place, I, just check. I'm probably there. As far as for the booze, we haven't released our first episode yet. It's going to be just after um, Christmas. As for right now, you can find us on Twitter. So tweet out to us. If you have any stories, you can contact us at fortheboost12 at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, we eventually, we want to move past just 
talking about the stuff that we watch and actually have people come on and share their experiences with us. We won't judge you personally. We only judge the people on YouTube and stuff. That's our <laughs> that's our main joke fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we call it it's, uh, we call it. It's great to have you on, even though we talked on spaces numerous times. Now I can put the, yeah. the, the, the name with the face. Nah, you get to see the beard, man. Yeah, the beard, man. I heard it was like some kind of beard. I saw it on there. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking dead now. Yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't even been that long, man. I still got a ways to Dude, go. Dude, I had, I had it down to here. Yeah, and, see, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I, I had it down to here, but it was like frail. Mm. But it was like, you know, like, but then all of a sudden COVID fucking happened. So I had to wear a mask. And when I did wear the mask, it was just no, I, like this. I hate it. I always get like this dip right here from exactly. the mask. That's what I'm talking uh, about. And then it's now pretty I thick though. Like this. It's yeah. Pretty thick. It's good. Look, I, I just started growing this about six months ago. So I'm hoping in about a, I'm hairy. I'm a hairy fucking guy. I'm, I'm a little Irish guy. I'm fucking hairy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping you're, I want to you know, look get, like you're gonna look like Billy Gibbons. Hell yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially we call it the one guy that does not have a beard has the last name Beard. Yes, I know this. I mean, it's yeah. so weird, right? I'm like, what the fuck, man? Everybody has a fucking beard that has a weird, that has the same fucking name, na- you know, good fucking name. Man, I could have yeah. put Billy, I put could have put Gil- Billy Gibbons in my fucking guitar player spot, too. He's awesome. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Damn. But then, uh, what was the old guy? Uh, the, the bassist. Uh, I don't know his name. Uh, ah. I forgot the name, but also I could have had him on there as a basis as well. You know, man, I know his name actually. And I can't think of it. Uh, Those guys are pretty iconic, man. Yeah, no, definitely. Especially when uh, the Billy Gibbons has like, you know, been on like TV shows. Mm. Uh, like Bones. See, I'm a guitar player. So my brain instantly gravitates to guitar players. Yeah. So like, I don't know. But, I'm real. I'm gonna be thinking more about that question. I think, like, who would I cast in my band, Dead or Alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. I like that. Especially when you're you know, looking uh, for, uh, you know, Rebel meets Rebel. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to look that up. <laughs> but uh, folks, you know, check out going. Uh, we call it, you know, break on through and for the booze that can be coming out like later in December, probably yep. the new year um also check out my stuff where you can go to linktree that's l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e forward backslash tattoo squid podcast you'll find everything from youtube instagram tiktok uh twitch uh good pods then you get the, the what did i say that's a youtube yeah so yeah uh and what was the other shit that i had one? oh i got a i got a merch uh site we call it it's uh Tattoo Squid Podcast and then you can also buy me a coffee forward backslash Tattoo Squid Podcast, <laughs> uh, which you know hopefully somebody's going to get something. I haven't seen it yet, but <laughs> uh, it, it's good to have out there, I guess. You know? Yeah, man. Um, and also, you know, like I said, thank you again, and we're going to have Vinny uh, from Chat Smash, maybe all three of them. Who knows? um you know probably on definitely gonna be on uh september 15th. oh if, if you can get the other guys to agree to come on i will come on with piggly dog and chat smash and you and i will do a four-way call because i think that would be fucking hilarious oh i know i i'm, I'm gonna i want to ask we call it i want to ask Vinny, you know because i'm gonna do the one with Vinny first and see if we can do like one with all four oh. Like be awesome. Yeah. Oh, well, you got to get Rick on too first. You got you yeah, got to yeah. get oh, each individual. Do, do the individuals first, and yeah. then we'll do the whole uh, package. You know, like the power <laughs> package. I think it'd be awesome. That'd be and, so much fun. And then that, thats what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call the episode "Power Package." There you go. Yeah. I'm sure we'll make jokes about that. <laughs> yeah, it's like our packages are powerful, <laughs> <laughs> especially when you go to the Galaxy Grill. Oh yeah, and the pig Ser- dog <laughs> Ser- serving up that galactic meat, <laughs> and then you just break on through to the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a good time, man. So, all right, dude, take it easy. All right, bro. With your other podcast going on, sir, I will. Take Thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thanks for having me on, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem, no problem, man. I'll talk to you soon. Let me go stop this recording first, and then.